If you call, oh, this this one is crazy. If you call me or any or my roles unfair, I'll get up and go home. And if you gotta ride with me, you can find your own way back and suck it up. Oh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> what have they been doing to this guy? For real. <laughs> and we're back. We're back with some fucking Minecraft. We're back in the craft. I'm excited to be back. Cause I've had some I've had some cool ideas that I want to do way into the future of this Minecraft world, but uh, oh yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll we'll get to that when we get to that. But I've got I've got ambitions. I've got plans that I want to do doing here. But uh, so I called you here today. Oh, that's right. I was replacing all the blocks with stairs. Yeah, with stairs. Wow, I'm so oh, yeah, fucking I love based doing for that. that. It's um, so sexy. It is so sexy. Uh, so, I have found this wonderful thing that I I know that you will probably get a kick out of. So, this, it was an archived Reddit post of something mm -hmm. titled, My 44 Rules for D&D. &D. Oh, okay. So, little bit of backstory here, because I feel like this is very important. Um, so the guy who po originally posted this on Reddit was not the DM. It was somebody who was like, he was like uploading his DMs rules. Mm -hmm. And initially people were like clowning on the DM cause it's all fucking ridiculous shit. Like even though what I'm about to say, I'm about to say, uh, <laughs> Uh, he, he still has some, some pretty ridiculous rules that are kind of just like, why? Okay. But, um, so it originally got deleted because the, it, it came out that the guy who originally posted, uh, the, the, the Reddit post, uh, mm -hmm. was specifically commenting like, oh yeah, no, I was doing thing like me and my friends were specifically doing things to piss off our DM. So it like came out like he created these rules because he was literally on like the, the end of his rope and he was fucking being driven oh. insane by his fucking players. But we're still yeah. going to, we're still going to read these and we're still going to laugh because I think they're very funny and, um, they're very ridiculous. So I hope you're ready. Um, the reason I brought, I want to have you do this is because you have some experience uh, being a DM. Yeah. So I feel I feel like you could give your two cents here. So <clears throat> starting, I don't know if we'll read the entire list because forty four is a fucking lot. I'll try to skip all the ones that are kind of redundant or like not. Yeah, I was gonna say, give me the big kahunas, yeah, yeah, like yeah. the ones that really stood out to you, because I'm I'm very interested to see what this is gonna be. <laughs> so because if you're saying that like. Like, this guy's players are just, like, bags, like, just being dickheads on purpose. Yeah. I'm going to have very little sympathy. And I'm probably going to agree with a lot of these. <laughs> Honestly, like, like as, someone, as someone who's never DM'd before, a lot of these do make sense from, like, an outside perspective. But also a lot of them are like, oh, my God, why is he like this? <laughs> yeah. So, rule number one, and I'm, I'm going to read this as it's written. I'm timing turns. I don't give a fuck if it's unfair in your opinion because your spells are hard or you don't know what square to move to. You get one minute to know all of the actions you want to take or I skip your turn. That's fucked. Hate it already. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> Off to a bad start. <laughs> I was going to say that's fucked. Don't like it. <laughs> um... Rule number two, if you want harder fights, bring a second character sheet or expect and ex and expect to twiddle your thumbs when you die. I'm not going to baby anyone. Oh, brother. Uh. <laughs> What's brother. that? Uh, what? The fuck you mean? <laughs> huh? I'm uh, not gonna be craziest shit bros ever said. If you call oh this this one is crazy. If you call me or any or my roles unfair, I'll get up and go home. And if you gotta ride with me, you can find your own way back and suck it up. Oh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> what have they been doing to this guy? For real? <laughs> Number four. Why is he so <laughs> Number four. 
I'm going to take your character's loot away as regularly regularly as you want it given out. Rule th three will apply here. Wait, what was that? What? I, I honestly, this one doesn't make sense at all as to like what he means. But so like he's basically saying like as rare or as as often as you will get loot drops, your loot will be taken away. So like if you get a fuck ton of loot, then your loot will oftentimes get stolen or, or some shit like that. I've literally never heard of that before. That seems like some really hardcore shit. <laughs> like, that's the equivalent? I, I can't imagine, like... What? <laughs> uh, I've been playing DMD with Rob and Drew for, like, three years. And I know that this is, like, the only experience that, like, I have for D&D, so take it with what you will. That has literally never happened to us before. <laughs> they must have been ticking this guy off for, real? for him to be, like, laying out rules like this. Where if he's, like, pissed and he's like, I'm gonna leave and you're gonna have to find your own way home, I have to imagine that they're just being relentless. <laughs> uh, rule number five. If you don't act out any of your persuasion or intimidation or any other social checks, you fail before you even roll. You're f you fail immediately because you aren't even trying and you're making the game lame for everyone else. <laughs> Yeah, I get that. I can see how that... <laughs> that one actually is kind of reasonable. I think the way that I, I've i played with Drew and Rob, that's never been part of it, but I know for a lot of other um D, D parties, that's a big thing, so if you're not going to get any effort, then don't expect it to work. <laughs> that, that, that seems fine to me, honestly. <laughs> no, rule number six, if you don't pick up cues for side quests that's not my problem get over yourself it's not a video game it's a role-playing pen and paper based game with miniatures i'm not holding your hand if you choose not to pursue shit <laughs> yeah again i'm with him on this one uh, as i say like it's uh, yeah yeah uh let me see Let's see. What, what, I feel what's, like what's another like, what's another good one here? Like people like walk into D and D expecting it to be like one thing if they have never had any experience with it before, and they end up getting like something completely different, and you end up like. I don't know, man. Like you have you have to look around for stuff. Mm -hmm. Like I you have again. To engage, I think man. I'm with them on this one. Yeah, that's, that's like I said, where it's like, there are some that I agree with and some where it's like, oh my god, dude, what the what fuck? The fuck? Yeah, it's like, why are you so mad? What's wrong? What's wrong? Oh, there's a fucking Enderman down here. I'm gonna kill him. Kill him. No, I'm gonna make a storage room, actually. This ain't working out for me. I'm trying to reorganize our shit. Where'd like, you go, see. bitch? Oh. Okay, deadass, where did he go? This is a fucking horror movie now. Uh, oh, okay. Getting jumped. Well, <laughs> JJ got jumped. Yeah, that shit happens. Can't um, believe it. <laughs> uh, number nine. I will. Uh, I'm skipping some because these are these aren't as funny. Number nine. I will give out exhaustion more frequently. If you argue, go home, or you can actually fight me over it, and you can DM yourself. <laughs> 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 This guy, like, just from, like, what he's written and how he's, like, expressing it, it's like, like, I don't know the context, and I don't even I think I that it- I the context, honestly. I did, too. I did, too. I just, I can't, everything that, like, you've said so far, like, outside of the one where he's like, I'm gonna leave you because that's just bogus as fuck. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I was gonna say, again, that one also kind of depends, though, because if you're being, like, a dick to your DM constantly. Yeah. I just, like, why Why is he even hanging out with these people still? Like, no, <laughs> that's what I That's what I, I said like, when I first read it. This, I was like, why are you still hanging out with these people if this is... The, if you need to make this many rules for D&D &D to be fun, why not just play with literally anybody else? I was gonna say this seems like a situation um, 
where you can just leave. <laughs> uh, you, don't have, you don't have to keep doing this to yourself, I promise. Number 10, every snide comment you make to an NPC will be remembered and paid back in triplicate. You all seem to believe there is little consequence. <laughs> Damn! <laughs> So I know that I'm never playing D&D with this guy because uh, I'm definitely one of those dudes who has to, like, constantly joke around with that shit. Like, I cannot take D&D seriously. I just can't. It's just not something I'm, like, not something I'm used to. I'm sure, like, over time I can get used to it, but, like, I naturally want to joke around, around about shit. So this dude would not okay, like me. Sometimes that's appropriate depending on, like, the like how serious the campaign is because like ones that i've written before have definitely been more just for for giggles and gaffes more than like trying to tell like a serious and like well-built narrative yeah that that's a fair point where it's like if you're trying gonna, to tell like a story it's, it's obviously dependent. i'll take it a lot more seriously but i was gonna say if we're just making bits and joking around like i don't all right uh, number 12, the travel portion is done. You want to travel continents doing literally whatever you want to, whatever you want, whenever you want, go play World of Warcraft or play D&D &D with AI. <laughs> Damn! Um, number, oh, okay, this, this one is, <laughs> this one is, is, this one's a little goofy. Number 13, if you're late with no good reason, I'm going to have your character's hit points for the entire session. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> huh? Homie's Again, literally going brother, to if homie's you, literally if going to this, nerf I'm... you if you have no good reason for being late. Oh my god, bro. I was gonna say if homie is this heated, what did they do to him? <laughs> Alright, I have to pause the, the game real quick. So if you get kicked out, I'm sorry, but I need to like scroll down. Uh, number 14. This one kind of goes off of number 13, but this is, this makes it worse. This makes it worse somehow. Uh -huh. Number 14. If you don't show up for no good reason, and that will be determined by me alone, if no one else has the guts to say shit for fear of upsetting one another, the first time you'll find yourself losing either a whole level or up to three major items of your own. The second time you do it in a row, you'll be removed from the chat and the group full stop. I have no fucking time for people to not show up. <laughs> So, All right, like, he's kind of losing me. <laughs> he's losing me. Like, oh okay, my God. I understand like getting pissed off with people if if they're flaking on you, like you're setting up a time and they just don't say anything and just don't show up. This is excessive. Yeah, he's letting, not, he's letting, not, he's not even that. Take over. Not even him like putting nerfs on you if you're late, but also yeah. like. I will decide if you being late is a good reason. <laughs> that's crazy as fuck, man. That's vile. That's villainous shit. I was gonna say that's uh Damn, bitch. <laughs> number number fifteen and sixteen are kind of like just the same thing. So I'll read them both in full. <clears throat> Number 15, if you get too stoned or drunk to play, I will go home without without a warning. Your warning is here. And number 16, if you get up for bong or smoke or whatever breaks every 10 minutes, I will simply pack up and go home. I'm sick of waiting for every bloke to be at the table. So, worst fact, he's British. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, God. <laughs> bro. You can't be British and be saying this shit, bro. That's, that's crazy. Yeah. Like Ooh, I almost fucked. I get, no, no, no. I, I, I'm with him on this one. Why the fuck you mean to tell me? Okay. If it's planned, that's one thing. If you are legitimately just pulling out a bong, I don't care how much you <laughs> like weed. Get a con like, be better than that, please. <laughs> it is functionally the least that you could do to not show up to a session stoned. <laughs> The 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 bar is in hell. <laughs> number seventeen guide. Oh wait, number seventeen guidance, divination spells, owls, or and whatever spells I decide are too fucking stupid are banned outright. No more fucking guidance. <laughs> <laughs> this 
fucking yes, guy. Yes, he really abused that. This fucking guy, dude. Uh, okay, okay. I want, I want to see how you feel about this one. This one I'm like half and half on. But uh, number eighteen, you get one chance at a skill check. If you fuck up, your party doesn't get their chance to do the same check. Think carefully of who's good at what. Um. That seems, again, like it would be well suited for a campaign that's in taking like a more serious approach. Yeah. Like yeah. if you're trying to like write something that's like intentionally like really gritty or something that's supposed to be challenging, I think it could be put to good use. Mm. I think it's also ridiculous to do that because there have been countless times that like like we've had to roll for something and Drew fucks it up and then I try it and then either I do well or I fuck it up too and then we're screwed but we we have like I feel at like, least both of us get to try once yeah I but feel like, like this rule, thing where like this rule works best if it's decide like agreed upon by the entire group to go I was going to say like this was, yeah like we because we don't know like how like what kind of approach he's taking as a dm like because we don't know like the context yeah it's impossible to like determine if this is some douchebaggery or not <laughs> uh okay uh number 19 discussion of metagame details in game will result in instant damage to your character so basically you just can't say anything about the game out of character <laughs> while you're playing this feels like walking into a Spanish class and you can only speak in Spanish and not any English at all. I dropped my diamond pickaxe. Sometimes those discussions between players are really important when like deciding <laughs> what kind of plane you're going to make. Mm -hmm. I think necessitating being in character all the time is a little ridiculous. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> or even even a little bit more than a, a little ridiculous. That's that's pretty pretty fucking ridiculous. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm um let's see. Number 20, rules lawyering fellow players is encouraged. Um actualing me, um actualing me will result in me telling you to fuck off. So basically, you can't tell the DM anything, but you can tell other players <laughs> that they're doing something wrong. Nah, that's gay. <laughs> bad, bad DM. Humility is your friend. Don't be that guy. Uh, number twenty one is long, but I'll 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 give you the sum and short of it. Basically, it's saying that like, if you fuck up on a dice throw where like the dice falls off the table or something, uh, yeah. it's an instant fail and you don't get a chance to reroll. What? Which. Personally, I think that's gay as hell. <laughs> I was gonna say that's some bullshit. What? I'm like the worst dice oh? roller ever, and my shit goes everywhere all the fucking time. So like, <laughs> again, the I don't, I don't think I want to play D and D with this dude. <laughs> the fuck you mean? You screw up. You do anything wrong. You breathe in the wrong direction and like the wrong type of way, and this guy is like, gonna smite you. <laughs> oh, <laughs> you won't like the next one. Rule twenty one, uh. or no rule, rule twenty two. Instant death traps and mechanics are coming into place. If you call these things unfair moving forward, I will laugh at you and tell you to fuck off and cry some more. <laughs> nah, I would leave at that point. Forget this. I, I was gonna say, like, if I've everyone left, was being I've left, like, 20 rules ago. <laughs> for sure. For sure. I was gonna say, like, this, absolutely not. Like, your players being dicks to you is one thing, and then, like, letting it get to your head and being, like, pissed about it. Yeah. And just, like, that's some good <sighs> shit. God, that's so tough. What the <laughs> fuck? Huh? Um, what? Let's see. Let's see. Uh, don't know what that one means, so don't care. Don't care. Didn't ask. Don't plus. care. Okay. Okay. Th this one's. This one is. Uh, 
is interesting. Rule 28, you're not to sit down and have a two-hour discussion about what Samson from Bundura Secondary did three weeks ago when you came to play. Take the 15 to 20 minutes I used to set up and review my notes to talk to each other, then sit down and play. So basically, you can't talk to your homies at all during the D&D session. You have to always yeah. be playing the game. No, nah, this sounds like just a, a group of people... Like, the players and the DM are not compatible. <laughs> I was gonna say, he needs to find, like, new people to play with, and they probably need to knock it the fuck off. Yeah. So, uh, alright, let's see. Let's see here. Because this is, like... This is some crazy shit, JJ. <laughs> uh, number 30. This one will piss you the fuck off i'm, I'm almost certain Lovely. don't fucking Lovely. order food randomly we will eat together at a specific time or not at all i don't want food shit all over my things <laughs> Damn, brother you're gonna start telling people when they can and can't eat fuck you yeah no 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 snook no snook allowed no. Your D &D session. No way. i was gonna say like we're gonna eat at this specific time okay i didn't know that you were suddenly like fucking i didn't know you were my mom <laughs> huh um, what we so i will say this we will continue this until the next episode because it is the end of the episode uh we will continue Holy this because there are definitely Holy more shit. that i want to share with you but uh i'm very glad i decided to do this because this is very fun <laughs> i'm losing my fucking mind dog <laughs> ain't no way someone's rolling around here tr <coughs> doing some fucking gay shit like that this is some whack shit man <laughs> so uh yeah we'll, Again, we'll... Though, like i'm still thinking that like they're just doing shit to piss him off and that's like how it's gotten to this point yeah but at the same time, I feel like homies power tripping like a little. Oh, a hundred percent. Like I was, I was gonna add like, there's a fine line of being upset with your like players that's like within your rights, and then there's just like taking it out on them. Yeah. And like, what you're gonna stoop to their level now? Congratulations! <laughs> now everyone hates your guts. <laughs> you all hate each other. Congratulations! You Congrat feel better about yourself. congratulations. Your rules were so dog shit. They're on Reddit for everyone to see. <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> all right. We'll see y'all later, everybody. Bye bye. Holy motherfucker. Fuck, That's crazy.